Ben Mike with RCN here. Uh, today we're taking a look at the S700, uh, brand new router with Cradle Point, uh, specifically built for ruggedized IoT and mobility applications. Fits a little bit of everything. It's like if the 600C and the 900 uh, you know, got melded together. So we're going to take a look at some of the functions and features of it today. Um, most importantly, just looking at where it might fit for you. Uh, but definitely security, um, oil and gas, different industries like that, or anywhere where surveillance and or an IoT application is needed, whether it's in a fixed mobile or outdoor environment in an enclosure or so. So taking a look at this for the first time, we have in there, obviously you have your router in the box itself. We're going to look at some of the accessories as well. Obviously you have your standard paddle antennas from Cradle Point. It looks like there are in the box, we have two cellular and then two Wi-Fi. So out of the gate, we know that this is a 2x2 two two MIMO solution with Wi-Fi abilities as well, which is good. Some of the older IoT products or some of the lower end IoT products on the market don't have that ability, so that's great. What do we have in here? Just a small accessories kit, so there's probably screws and whatnot for the SIM door. And then obviously you have your normal 110 power. But if I know Cradle Point, and we'll look at that here shortly, this is built to be from 9 to 24 or somewhere in between. So setting that aside, one more accessory before we unbox it. It is DIN rail mountable. So again, highly suited for that IoT and rugged environment that you know we see on planes, trains, and automobiles as well as in the oil, gas, and you know, vending industry. Okay, so taking a look at the S700 itself, after we've looked at all the accessories, first things first, obviously you have your getting started guide that Cradle Point lists in every box that they deploy. If this is your first Cradle Point purchase, you will have a welcome to NetCloud Manager email that will help you walk through both the Simplify app as well as your NetCloud uh, OS o operating system information and just configuration stuff in general. Uh, warranty and SKU information, country of origin, things like that if that's important to you. We're going to take this guy out of here and then, you, like we thought, is 9, 12 and some odd volts. We'll figure that out here shortly, but uh, able to integrate into both vehicle as well as your standard IoT GPIO power based operations. Looking at the unit itself, give me a second. Right. What we notice off the gate is we have two cellular, two Wi-Fi, and a GPS. So we do have an active GPS solution on board. Here are where all your LEDs letting you know what's going on with the device, where you're connected, any diagnostics that you might have, including NetCloud. I can see that icon, obviously, power on, Wi-Fi, and cellular is all being broadcasted there. Going around, you obviously, you have your SIM door. Pop that off. It would be a, uh, looks like a single SIM operation, but that might be something to look at here shortly. On the back, obviously you have your standard power Monix uh, integration. So whether you're doing your 110 volt power like we talked about, or you're doing the GPIO, that's all right there. USB integration, and it looks like we also have the ability to lock it down, which is uh, pretty nice. So the WAN LAN port's gonna be designatable. Uh, so you'll be able to actually have up to two LAN ports if needed. So this could be utilized as failover, it could be utilized as primary connection and so on and so forth. Okay, so real quick, what we're gonna do is plug this bad boy in and see what these lights look like. They're a little bit different than our normal cradle point deployments. Things have looked like they've been changed a little bit, I'm sure for the better. Let's take a look at this and see what we get. So first things first, yeah, we had some amber flashing. Obviously your normal, is it on, is it ready lighting. We have our white power line. I'm sure this will start coming up here shortly. We don't have a SIM card in here, so obviously connected to NetCloud and all that's gonna not be the best. Let me put a cellular antenna on here, see if we can pick up anything. So that might be the only action we get out of it without a SIM card plugged in, but as you can see, new lighting design, bright, 
And there's our Wi-Fi kicking on over to Amber right now. So it is doing something, but we are this is about as far as we can go without a live deployment. Okay, so looking at the sides here, we already talked about the WAN LAN ports and how you'll be able to switch those to two LANs if needed. Right, and then the, what we want to look at next is whether or not the SIM slot has two SIMs like normal. So give me a second while we open this bad boy up. These are Torx bit and not the standard Phillips that we're all used to seeing with Cradle Point, but a little bit more security, a little bit more enterprise grade trust. No, look at that. We do have dual SIM slots. It looks like it would be the smallest SIM size, not the old 2FF style, but the newer 4FF or nano SIMs. So with that being said, just coming through here, we're gonna put that back on. Other than that, it's a great looking sleek device, easy to put in in vending machines, easy to put in oil, gas, irrigation, anywhere you might need that, or just onboard diagnostics uh, if you're running systems or MDTs on everything from tractors to delivery vehicles. As you can see, you're in most of your information for your units right on the bottom like always. There is some heat sink built into it, however, there's a little sign right here that lets you know that this can get hot, so handle with care. Other than that, that's the S700. Hopefully, you reach out here shortly and we can figure out how we might be able to deploy it for you in your environment and your specific use case. Thanks for your time.